Huh? You get in the you get in the vehicles. What do you, what is the driving? Uh, in? Dude, go Load com the five zero. Check yep. in. Which which radio in the uh, do you put on the actual frequency? Uh, the vehicle comes. Uh, long range. Vehicle radio. Yeah, yep. long range. Yeah, long, long range ve vehicle radio. All right. The reason we do that, we ran into it last week, or two weeks ago, so that if the driver gets shot, the fucking vehicle is actually still fucking transmitting on five zero, and you can just jump in. Bacon. Yeah. What What's the bind for transmitting long range again? Um. For me, and you guys can chime in if you don't, if it's not the same. Uh, for me, I have it set to control caps lock. Yep. That's a basic setting. Yep. Okay. If to Thanks. adjust the long range radios, oh. it's uh, Alt P. Okay. Thanks. Now, one of the things that the sorry Milne actually fucking did was set the vehicle radio on fucking stereo. Uh, for non leadership, it would help because then everybody can hear it. But as far as, you know, like McNeely, team leaders, we listen to fucking two, three radios sometimes. So hearing two or three radios plus a stereo is kind of fucking annoying. And then everybody else talking. So, I mean, that'll be up to your vehicles if you want to do it or not. But it's just something you can throw out there. So, you get the radios set up. And then the gunners, what do they need to be checking for? Sector to cover. Well, sectors to cover during the convoy, but also you want to make sure there's actual ammo in the gun. Uh, and Pearson disconnecting. Oh, no. Oh, and one of the like... other things you want to check for is, as a gunner, you might get in and think there's no ammo. Hit F to take the gun off safety. Or control tilt, whatever you have your safety module loaded uh, set to. A lot of the times, guys, you know, we, we did that one-off with the uh, embassy, and guys were just like, fuck, I don't have any ammo. Because they were unsafe. <laughs> so... You get the gun set, get the radio set, convoy lines up. Um, the confusion between different squads of where they're lining up should be worked out better on the squad leader level. So if you notice another squad's getting all fucking retarded and in their own positions, go ahead and you can start a convoy by setting 1-1 one, one in line, and then 1-2 we can set our squad off to the side of them. We don't all have to be in one straight line to start, just as long as we have our actual unit together. Having them staggered actually helps the whole convoy know who's who and where we need to go. Um, all right, so once you do that, convoy starts rolling. Uh, what what VIX in the convoy will call out that they're doing turns? First and last. First and last. So if you have five vehicles in the convoy, two, three, and four should not be calling out every single turn. All right, that just makes unnecessary radio chatter. Now, I know fucking... You know, first our masters and a bunch of the other hires, they like hearing more communication and shit like that, but it clogs up the net. It, it's unnecessary. As long as we know the entire convoy has. Alright. Yeah, Pearson just completely dropped. As long as you know that the entire convoy is up, that's what needs to happen. <laughs> Shut up, Millen. Okay, so when you take contact. Uh, let's say it's just contact at the front. What happens? Interruption, push through, bearing bone. Yeah. Well, you got a couple options. If you're taking heavy contact, like it's a no-shit ambush, you can either herringbone and only let the first two vehicles be able to fire, or all the convoy or the unit. So if it's one, two in the front, we take contact from the front. You, instead of just pushing into a herringbone and everybody being cut off, you can push your unit online and then assault through the area. So pushing through the area doesn't necessarily mean you have to stay on the road and just keep driving. If we're doing a security patrol, you want to take out that the contact. If you are, hey, we need to get to the embassy, we, you know, time has priority, we're just going to stay on the road and keep fucking pushing. Gunners are just going to fire all around us. All right? So with that, it depends on what mission you're doing. Uh, as far as when you get online, uh, think about it exactly how we do it with fire teams. All right, so you got your ready team fire assist. Um, your your convoy should basically do the same thing. Vic one's just gonna keep going straight. Vic two is gonna go right or left. Three, whichever way fucking Vic two didn't go. And then four can basically just pick a side. If you only got two vehicles, it makes it easy. But either way, whichever side somebody just turned to, you go the opposite direction and just get online with Vic one. All right. Movement, you should be advancing online as best as possible so you can all shoot in a 180 arc in front of the vehicles. If a vehicle's ahead of you, that's fine. It's not entirely bad. 
Um, but the main thing is you all want to make sure that you're close to online as possible so that if one artillery round comes in, it's not going to hit, you know, one vehicle up front and then the guy behind him is taking all the frag that's flying backwards. Or maybe there's a round that comes in from, you know, a 45 degree angle and hits one vet, goes through and hits another one. Now, granted, yes, if you get shot from a flank, you're kind of fucked anyway, but it, it mitigates from a frontal assault that aspect. That makes sense to everybody? Yep. Uh, right, yep. Yep. Yeah. So, other than that, like, uh, it, that is how it's going to work. If there's a flanking ambush, so if they're on the sides of the roads and they ambush us, you're literally just going to turn the vehicles and assault into them online, exactly how you are. Everybody make a left or right turn, continue. Again, depending on the mission, you may just push through and just keep firing on the move. For the sake of this mission today, we will work the actual attacks. So, from taking contact, we will maneuver and attack the enemy positions. That's purely just so that the drivers can get work on it and the gunners can get work on it. Now, obviously, in you know patrolling operations, you would want to try and have up to eight vehicles. Um, just from doing combat operations, my convoy was four VIX. So... That's exactly what we're going to use today is four VIX. We'll split up. Um, pro probably going to be um, two in each vehicle. So driver, gunner. If there's a third person in there, it's all right. Okay. Pearson, are you still in here? Gone. No, he's not. Yeah, he's gone. All right. Millen, just text him and let him know. He'll get credit and try to get back in if he can. So that is literally as good as uh, th that's what comes down to convoy operations. All right. The same thing we do on the ground as 11s is the same thing you do with vehicles. There's no difference. It just depends on what mission you're doing and how you are going to treat enemy contacts In patrolling orders. That should be briefed um, nine times out of 10. It's not just because, you know, obviously not everybody in the 15th knows exactly how to write a combat order. So. In the future, McNeely and I have been talking about it, actually being clear on what we need to do for that part. So prior to operations, we'll actually have a sit-down talk and actually go through, hey, we're going to convoy. This is how we're going to treat enemy contacts. If we're going to fucking be on foot patrols. This is how we're going to treat enemy contacts. Stuff like that. It's little minute details that have kind of been kicking us in the ass and nobody really explains. So that's why I wanted to start this off by talking about it. Uh, at this point, if you have any other questions. Alrighty. So, what we're going to do, fucking, for now, go ahead and line up in your teams how we would in operations just so I can see, you know, what team has how many guys and move guys around. Hey. I'm just going to count Pearson as possibly not being here. Fucking Millen. Yeah, we'll stay like this. Um, fucking Millen, I'll drive. You gun. Doc, you can roll in the back of our vehicle. Yeah, putting the comp on the freaking gun. What? You know I got the worst computer. You don't put me on the gun, man. Come on. I hate to say that, but... Mitchell, do you want uh, Cahill or Darwin on the gun or something? I can send you one guy to gun if you want. Yeah. yeah, just pick one. One of them go over with Millen. And then fucking Doc and I'll just travel. Kill. Vehicles. Um. Alright, so that's how we'll roll. You guys will all be together. We'll use three vehicles. Doc will go in the center, and uh, I'll be in the fucking rear Vic. Right. Or, excuse me, front Vic. Here's Good? you coming. I know he's back in the team speak. Pearson, you there? He loaded in and just crashed out again. I think he's crashing again. Yep. No, I'm still in. Oh. Yeah. All right, go Can ahead. Crash grab your vehicles. Game? Line them up at the front gate. Uh, or excuse me. Yeah, rear gate. Excuse me. Fun down one. To the, the northwest. One three is in victory. Or one two. What are you talking about, Charlie? Sorry. <laughs> Charlie, what three? You know what I meant. Yeah. You know what I Alpha, meant. Alpha Bravo up. Charlie from the left. Oh, God. What? 
What are you doing? I'm trying to do nothing. Come on, Drive Miller. Uh. Uh, okay, let's grab the third one. Well, this one. Let's go. The last one? Alright. Yeah. You're driving. I'm getting. Alright. All teams check in on 112. Hey, Milner, are you on? Guardian 112. Checking in on 112. Over. Roger. You just on clear. Bravo copy. Bravo. Charlie copy. Lima Charlie, I'm getting called from work. You, uh, can you let them know? Uh, check, uh, for this one, on check radio on this channel. Zig 3 checking in, vehicle frequency. Uh, wait, uh, Sergeant, uh, yep. which vehicle are we? The last one? We should be second one. <laughs> yep. As private team. Uh, not yet. Hang on. Wait, pardon? Uh, what are you saying again? The first one? Should be the, the second one. Second one, okay. I'm gonna grab another radio so I can monitor 5 0 for you. Which vehicle was baking in? Bravo. Was Bacon driving? Negative, we just normal. Okay. Is he in the gun? Confirmed. Okay. How long are you still sitting in there? Oh, for this is Bravo. What up? Fuck it. Pull out. Pull out? Okay. Yeah, right. Alpha won't take their lead, so... You know. No! Not pull out like that. Pull out with the weak. Oh. <laughs> Smooth. Actual signing in on 5-0. Ready, check. Some action going on in there. Ready, you loud, clear. Leave your chart. Alright, go ahead. Now, we go. One, go ahead and move out to the northwest. Stage at the uh, gate. We're gonna try and wait and see if Bacon's gonna have to drop out or not. We gotta act on sleep one. Let's go. The first one? Yeah. You are not moving, so let's take it. This is Revlon 150. Taking for sleep. Remember your calling Jinx. Also, oh, so oh. I can use it. You need to call the the turns as you should be. Wait, you can you? Yeah, so remember, rear Vic, you're gonna call it as rear Vic. Remember, you yeah, I will. This time you're clear. Go ahead and push on the patrol route. Just make your call. Left turn coming up. All uh, call. One turning left. All Vex, just take a hold. Pearson just loaded in. I'm going to TP him to us. Wait, am I am I moving so fast? Too fast? No. Oh shit, okay. I don't know what happened. Uh, whenever I press the CTRL W, uh, it doesn't work. It's still moving as the W speed. Did you check uh, your settings? Did you change it? I did. Uh, I did, and it still doesn't work somehow. I don't know. It might be the Vic period. 
we are using the RHS VIX that that the VIX that we should not use right now whatsoever. Could be it. <laughs> I don't know how how that VIX is working. I was not using it. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, there is no security on that gun. All VIX, convoy up. Copy. Are your VIX going left? Remember your So, which speed are we gonna use? Your call. <laughs> Remember your date. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, you can lower the, the volume. Yep. There you go. Uh, which turn? Yep, yeah, continue straight. Well, on, the, on the main road. News on speaker. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it off. It's gotten too much feedback. What is called again? The W. Old. Yeah, old, old. We do exchanging news uh, radio. Oh no, no! Stop! Stop! Don't move. Take the time to lower the volume. Alright, we're up. Remember your daytime dispersion 50 to 100 meters between vehicles. Uh, which speed should we be using right now? Yeah, whiskey. Whiskey. Uh, Vic 1, yeah, whiskey, sp whiskey speed. That thing is... Keep pressing, keep pressing. Why are you slowing? <laughs> you made the call of the speed, keep moving. <laughs> Am I moving too fast? Like no, whiskey speed is whiskey speed. They are taking the the range, the, well, the the distance that they need in between the VIX. Okay. Remember, it's fifty to one hundred meters. Don't worry. If there is anything, they will call it. Uh, still moving straight. Yep. Keep moving straight. Uh, I want that. What's what? Explosions in the uh, building. Do you hear the explosion? North. Yep. Yeah. Was on the north. Fire from the northwest. Continue to push that area. Keep pushing. Yep, taking oh. fire. Keep moving. Shit, I'm hit. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that weird. I don't see too much, I'm watching more friend than anything. Alright, if you get hit, make sure you're saying who, because uh, I doesn't really tell us anything. Contact front. Contact uh, front. Contact front. Fix one and two, move online, assault contact. Fix three, hold back. Pick the first manage and join the assault. Slow down. Let the other vehicle line up. Big one real.
Bird, are you up? Here, Pearson, set up a perimeter. I got him. I got him. You got him? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just set up a perimeter. Gotcha. Hey, Doc, where are you moving them to? Uh, southeast. southeast. He's gonna follow Roger. me. Follow me right now. I just took out three contacts over there, so that's why. is Bravo Get a cop man over here. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I got to report it. I'm sorry, uh, what happened again? Did we got shot know? down by two BTR. Yeah, assets from one, two. Oh, if you're still over no, here, no. set up a perimeter around so the Vic. Vic is basically, yeah. Set up a 360. I'm gonna take care of him. Okay, copy. This is Prevalon 112. Say so copy, two man ops. Kale. I do not like see Kale over there. He respond. Oh yeah. Let's use the bridge as cover as we can. Sit on the left. Okay. It's funny, I was on the destroy Vic, and I thought I was dead, but in fact, absolutely not. I mean, not even art.
Come on, Jill, you copy me? Uh, copy. I can hear you. Team leader, so you're tracking. Those so, ATRs fired 10 rounds into each vehicle and they blew up. Actual, this is Bravo. Be advised that those VICs are not the VIC we are supposed to use. <laughs> Cap, what the MRAPs we have? Or? Yeah, those MRAPs are the one from the RHS, not our mod pack. Pearson. What are they under in the uh, mod pack? Uh, they should be NATO vehicles. Heard it, Dale Pierce. That one? My mic triggers. Yep, that was one. For some reason, but not when I, like, just regularly talk. Hey guys, it's green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, green. All green. Hey, show, Melon. Hey, here, you guys good? Yeah, I'll go to there. I was in the Vic that blew up and didn't even get it by anything. The rest of your teams are back up. Yeah, no, Does anybody wait for TP? Let me know. Well, this was really strange. Let's back uh, up in our Vic. Which one? Uh, copy. Okay, those BTRs will no longer be used. It's going to be uh, purely infantry from here on out. That should not have happened. <laughs> to be fair, I left yeah, that right. uh, BTR up. And they yeah, did not your die. our rounds did not fuck them up at all. I can't talk unless. I uh, check the radio on this channel. You better call the frequency of the channel because if you're monitoring in many, they won't know which one it is. Yeah. Alpha team, do you have anybody waiting for TP? Hmm. Mitchell. Have yep. I, have I, wait, why I can't hear the radio? Is it? Is your team up? My team is all up and all big. Rebel, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, Alpha. Is that bacon? Melon, you're in, right? Um. Uh. Rear Vic checking in on vehicle frequency five zero. Me, my car. Where's Cahill? Okay. Yeah. Vic three, Vic two, are you up? Vic three's up. Ah, Wait, there we Vic go. Two? Uh, Mitchell, are we in the victim? No, we're in Vic 1, we're on the front. Okay. I just got a frame drop. What's happened? Okay, so we're still waiting. Yeah. What do we have a free, uh, frequency set on my personal radio? Okay, I already set the long break into 5-0. You put, when you put the low range on the VIC on 5.0 when you put it on speaker, make sure to change the volume to 70. Say again? Make sure that when you put the uh, low range radio on speaker, 
You put the volume at 70. 70, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this time I'm just gonna use uh, the series. Alright, all this is actual on 5 0 for Roger when you're ready to push. Alright. Okay, Vic 1 moving. No, the BTR shot one, or 10 rounds. The BTR shot 10 rounds into each vehicle and they blew the fuck up. So there's no more, there's no more BTRs in here. So for the future, there's only going to be infantry that we're going to face in or non-armored picks. Uh, there will not be gun trucks or anything like that. Uh, again, purely so we can work on the tactical aspect. Go ahead and okay, continue copy. convoy. Okay, copy. We want uh, with this Oh, that's 70. 70, okay. Don't pass it. <laughs> Convoy enemy vehicles. Enemy con vehicles northwest, uh, about 250 meters. Northwest. Vic one entering the town. Slow down. Go ahead and keep proceeding through the V area. Uh, right turn coming up. Right turn. Uh, this one? Convoy appears to be moving. Fix three and two. Please. Go ahead and change your guns to the right and engage. Uh, Vic one turning right. Where your Vic going right? Uh, one uh, you better set the uh, speed on that road. Uh, you you better to set a speed on that road instead of uh, whiskey speed. Okay. Like five zero should be a good speed on that road. Yes, you. Okay. Uh, Watch out, there. there is a sharp turn coming up. We'll be on left, right.
contact up the hill. Contact from the hillside to the west. Bearing 270, enemy bunker on the hill. Approximately a fire team next to it. Range 400. All convoy, get online. Assault up to the, uh, into the uh, area. Copy. Wait, there you We're pushing on the enemy. Okay. So this is okay. Yeah. I just don't have any line of fire right now. Give it more. Reloading. Uh, big one, reloading. Pick two, holding, providing suppression fire. Fix one and three, proceed, advancing on target. Sorry, top. I cannot shoot you. Is the area clear up there? Roger, it's all clear. There you go. Roger, Stop. vehicles move back down to the road, following an original order of movement. Track to reloading. Drivers, get a uh, ammo count from your gunners. Pass it over net. Okay, uh, Five bucks. Uh, five bucks on the big one. Vic 3 has four and a half boxes. Saw a copy on all. Testing the real day capability. It, it doesn't remotely make sense why I can't talk to my own gunner. Yeah, but I'm using the radio now, is why you guys can all hear me. Hey, Vic 3, Vic 2, we're gonna have a doc jump out of my Vic, hop in with you, and uh, aid with communication. of Vic 1, Vic 2 will be Vic 3, and then uh, eventually your Vic will now be Vic 2. 
We got it. We're in victory now. We're in victory? Okay. Yep. Once convoy's up, deck one, go ahead and call movement. Just hold your position, don't try to set yourself. Okay. They will form the convoy, the convoy will move, then you set in position. What's our grid for Melon? We are currently at grid 112174. Next intersection, right turn. Yeah, we have no team leader in the front. There is no one with the GPS. Oops. Are you ordering to move? No, they don't call it. Big one moving out. Yeah, they call it. Big one going on the right turn is going to be uh, straight. Roger. Big one going moving out. Whiskey speed. Whiskey speed. Remember that when I call you the I spot contact, it's your job to call it on the net. Pick one, slow down, allow the rest of the combo to catch up. Uh, what is it? When when I will when I call contacts like I did uh, for the last assault, you have to call it on the five zero. Oh, okay. combo is up, good to push. Normally the gunner won't be so it's your job. Section making right turn. Roger. Vic one going right. Taking fire. Con contact to our one. Contact to the southeast. Continue to push through on the road. Make that speed. Ask for a repeat then. A second. Contact left side. Yeah. Two twos. Pick 
one right turn. I think one going right. Continue straight to the next intersection. Or correction, making a left turn, next intersection. I think one going left. End of the street, continue through the, uh, the courtyard. You're gonna move your way to the left onto the uh, primary MSR. Well, looks like we've broken this on the way back to That seems. Make right turn. Intersection making a left. Pick one, turning left. Next intersection, left turn. Big one going left. Pick two, turn at two o'clock, advance towards the top of the hill.
Uh, one o'clock, one o'clock. Contact, 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 two. contact, 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 Center and clear. Roger. Be advised, Vic One is on two by. Area clear. Move to the northwest. We're gonna get on the road and uh, move to the uh, friendly position. That's not a copy. Enemy truck right north. Yep. Kill. Kill them. Brody. Disable, he's on foot. I shot him in the back, I don't know where he went down. Enemy contact running up the Enemy hill. Enemy contact running up the hill. Behind that truck. Behind that truck. Right on the road, we'll come across the back face and be able to see him. Uh, my compass is stuck on my screen. Copy all this. Halt Vic 3 is going to take uh, lead Vic. Oh, 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 oh. My compass is literally stuck on my screen. I'm hitting K and it's not going away. All Vic's ammo count. Uh, how much? Maybe? One and a half. One and a half. One uh, seven. Victor, uh, one and a half. Chopping. Pick one, combo moving out. We're a bit too now, by the way. Oh, okay. If you listen to the radio. <laughs> okay, my <laughs> compass broke. It won't let me put it back on, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna follow the thing. Copy. Just make sure you listen to your radio. Uh, last day to the uh, right. Friendly FOB at bearing 100. Uh, sorry, copy. Uh, last day to the right. Keep going left. Remember that you have the option to use the spill limiter.
All Vic's going straight at the intersection. Okay, copy. Vic 1 turning left into Fox. Motor pull is on the right through the entrance. <laughs> Once all vehicles have stopped moving, I'll dismount. Okay. Uh, this man, this man. Yeah, got it. Alright, so hmm. first thing, fucking, if you had a glitch or something happened where you were frozen or some shit like that, just shoot it to me in a PM uh, in the uh, the actual channel on TeamSpeak. Secondly, that first little firefight that we got into, right? I'm going to take a fucking hit on that one. The BTRs just like shot 10 rounds into each MRAP and they blew the hell up. So I was not expecting that to happen. Uh, Sorry, Mitchell, you pointed out to me I was using the wrong VIX. Again, had no idea. So once we got through there, um, initially the, the movement on that first contact, uh, Vic 3, I got it, you, you had guys down, uh, you were trying to patch up. I don't know how you guys ended up getting up there, I ended up getting killed before that happened. Um, so, and it, being that that was only a squad, they, I was trying to lock the B, uh, BTRs so that they couldn't use them. Um, they did, and ended up using the guns against us. If it was just a squad, the uh, most we would have been facing was rocket fire uh, grenades and shit like that. So. I, I was trying to line that up with not too much firepower, but enough that it being online, it would uh, allow us to actually assault through it. Um, once we got through that, we hit the first area uh, where the uh, two fire teams were up on a hill in a bunker. The first fire team I had running down the hill, trying to get into better positions lo on lower ground on us. You guys chewed them up before they even hit the tree line. Um, so that was good. Gunners, your fucking accuracy is pretty damn good because they all went down within you know probably about the first three bursts. Uh, second fire team obviously was up at the bunker. Um, uh, Vix two and three, or two and one, excuse me. You advanced up on them. Um, the first two were dead, uh, about halfway up the hill. And obviously Cahill, I watched you run one over at the wall. <laughs> so I was gunning. Well, whoever your driver was, it was pretty. I hilarious. was driving. Video man. All right, so. With that situation, right, um, yes, it was a big-ass hill. We have big-ass vehicles. It's shitty trying to get these up a hill. Um, but in a case like that, you know, being that the way defenses are dug, there can be... Yeah, I got you, Miller. There can be defensive positions on the backside of the hill. So exactly what you guys did, you pushed all the way to the crest, and then you kind of went over to make sure the other side was clear. It was exactly what I was looking for. Um, you know, Vic-3 kind of couldn't get into a good position to really advance without bringing the dispersion way in. So Miller and Bacon, I think you guys just made the decision on your own uh, between each other basically to fucking hold and give suppressing fire. That was pretty damn good. Once we cleared that, changed up the formation a little bit. Um, there were two fire teams sporadically through the fucking main road. Um, you engaged them pretty good. I called to keep pushing instead of uh, assaulting and halting and all that shit. So again, gunner accuracy was amazing. The dispersion through that point of the convoy um, with Millen in the lead, it was a little... You know, making up the route as it went because we missed turns and shit. But we adjusted and got back on. Um, again, had you been calling as drivers, had you been calling over the net the entire time saying, you know, Vic 1 right turn, Vic 2 right turn, Vic 3 right turn, and given the unnecessary calm when I was trying to call the uh, the corrections to the fucking course, it would have been cluttered. So if you think about it that way, it can, you know, you can kind of see where it helps that, you know, take that aspect out of it. Uh, once we got done with that, went around the town, kind of fucking made a new route. Uh, made our way up here. Uh, yes, the fob was right the fuck here. We drove right past it, and the whole point was I was trying to get you guys in that long amb uh, far ambush from the guys on the hill. Um, Doc did spot them or heard the contacts, and I heard you guys calling it out. Then, uh, if you were looking in that direction, you could have seen the uh, UAZ sitting on top of the hill. Uh, I know Vic one, you caught it because your gunner started engaging. So good job. As we started advancing on it, though, uh, we kind of started going a little south as we got closer. 
Vic 1 hit the contact first. Um, kind of, they were right up on it, whereas Vic 2 and Vic 3 were uh, 100, 150, 200 meters away. Um, so when you're advancing on targets like that, especially on hilltops, you need to make sure that you have at least two guns on the target. Um, for drivers, it, it, it's hard for, you know, everyone else to fucking play the immersion key from first person and, you know, say, oh, I didn't see that because I'm not outside the vehicle in third person. Um, it, it really comes down to everyone in the vehicle. If you see something like that, that kind of situation, you know, tell the driver, hey, turn to the right, you know, about two o'clock. And it, it's it's one of the things you got to work on. It's hard to get in real life. It's a little easier here because obviously you can pop your head out of the vehicle and you know sit back and watch the whole thing. So just try to keep that in the in the forefront when we do convoy ops from now on. Um, other than that, we came in after that contact was ceased. Actually, no, I'm going to back up on that too. Um, the crossfire. I heard you guys calling it out. Mitchell, let me get this uh, last one and I'll let you know. Um, guys were calling out the crossfire which was good, um, but there wasn't really too much going on to mitigate the uh, the crossfire that was going on. So, uh, again, you know, PCs, drivers, you need to make sure, hey, back up, back up, fucking Vic 2 shooting right across our front, you know, that kind of stuff. At one point, I, you know, Bacon was trying to direct Miller to turn around and move around because uh, we were literally aiming right at Vic 1. Then uh, Vic 2 had you come up and clear through the center. A lot of the times when you come up on an objective like that and it's circular, the two outer Vicks are going to provide a kind of a flanking fire through the objective, and then the center Vic will push through and do the final clear once contact has kind of died down. So there was a couple hiccups in the center where that happened, but all in all, it wasn't bad. Mitchell, go ahead. Well, you pretty much pass over it, but I go ahead anyway. Uh, when we are doing an assault, try to not pass enemy contacts. We can limit the crossfire that we have because I was gunning on Vic 2 at that point. And Vic 1 passed uh, the enemy contacts, get on top of them, and then I was pretty much shooting straight toward them. Mm -hmm. so, it's, it was the same thing uh, when the back up, there was contact in between our two Vicks, and we were firing pretty much on each other to try to get those contacts down. So, when we have contact in front, try to clear those before pushing through. That's my comment on that. So again, it's one of those situations that yes, you're in armored vehicles, but you want to mitigate and limit as much as possible. Um, again, with CAT, you know, vehicle convoys, it is the hardest thing to do, especially because, you know, AI likes to run out of a fucking bush. Next thing you know, he's right in front of you. He doesn't see a vehicle and start running away. So, uh, gunners, and VC, gunners, VCs, drivers, y'all need to be talking. If you see something like that, don't be afraid to call it over radio. I mean, everybody from, you know, Sergeant Mitchell and myself, all the way down to, you know, fucking Millen, Milner, Pearson, Darmawan. If you guys see something, go ahead and call it out. Like, it, there's, nef there's never anything bad about somebody calling something out because they think, hey, we should probably do this instead. Because it's going to get somebody's forefront and their knowledge, you know, pushing on the actual what's going on. You know, maybe Lieutenant was fucking behind us the entire time, didn't really see what the hell was going on. He's telling us to do one thing, and you call that out, and now it changes his plan, he'll adjust for it. So, never be afraid to jump on our radio and just call shit out. And then, descending fob, I just kind of threw this in there from fucking emergent aspect, alright? It's one of the things that I absolutely just fucking despise, is going into operations, and we just fucking, you know, turn around and go all the way back where the hell we came. Because, in reality, that will not happen. You will always go to a secondary position before you fucking push back through assaults and shit. Um... Other than that, again, dispersion was pretty good. Gunner accuracy was pretty damn on point. Um, they had a couple frame rate issues with some people. Fucking Millen's mic. Yeah, I got you, Millen. It's all right. So, now, anybody else that has anything, just ain't got to see your fucking cue. Just go ahead and fucking start talking. Improves, sustains, things we need to work on, new ideas. I think you just wanted to build a fob. No, I actually used the fucking Ares fob, and this bitch just completely just went everywhere. There's somebody behind us? Who, who's this? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a soldier from the 101st. <laughs> There's a couple yeah, of rooms around here. 
Right, that's that's Sergeant's sandbags. Hold your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so nobody's got anything. All right, ran a little over thirteen hundred. I apologize for that. Again, you know, I'm I'm not very fluent in fucking creating missions and shit. So this is kind of you know where McNeely started and has a lot more knowledge than I have. I you know put a couple things in here, trying not to make it too hard, trying to make it interesting enough that you guys are having fun and actually still getting the actual uh, concept of what we were doing. So, good job to all you guys. Give me one second so I can fucking make sure I got everybody that's here. Then, uh... I don't know if it's normal that a, that a Corman calls out contacts and stuff, but I try to help. See anything, you see something, you see something. And it doesn't matter if you're the platoon commander sitting in a Vic, like... It's one of the biggest things that kills me about our platoon convoys where people just sit there and don't say anything. It doesn't matter who you are. If you see contact, let the gunners know, let the drivers know. The more eyes that are outside, the better. Yeah, you yes. don't really get the greatest field of view on those guns. Yeah. Never ask them Got a comment? Is that okay? Uh, I just want to say this was a you were saying about the mission. It was I think the perfect amount of learning and fun because we did get to exercise the the vehicle formations and stuff, which really helped me at least. But it, the whole thing was a lot of fun too. So that's all. I appreciate that. Welcome, Yama. <laughs> yeah, in the future, you know, I again I kind of abandoned my mission making abilities because once I started working with McNeely I realized how much I did not fucking know so the ability the extent of my knowledge is place this here and hope they do what you want which AI doesn't so uh, I thought it was great man because uh, even if they fire or not we still have to you know do the right thing to approach them and that was good yeah in the future I'll try you know this, this is kind of how I like to work trainings when I was down in Gator I did the same damn thing we did convoys every damn practice you know every practice that we did was convoy so it, this amount, you know, a couple firefights here and there, but the majority focusing on the procedures and the actual tactical maneuvers is the important part. Even if you're under extreme fire, as long as you know what to do, you can fire and adjust. All right, uh, just take a look at that fucking, I just posted in the team speak. Just tell me if anybody was missing or not here, um, or they were here and fucking dropped out. All right, Nat, you guys are good to fucking disconnect. Um, just a reminder, tomorrow at 1600 will be another squad training, and then we have the op. Um, McNeely did post on the 1-2 form the op order. Um, it's basically a MV-22 went down, and there's going to be nine personnel that will be able to go with him, well, including him. So there might be somebody left at the FOB or some shit, but based on how many guys we have that been showing up, we're probably going to be at nine. 